So what is blood pressure? I said I'd do a little video just explaining what is blood pressure and explaining sort of what the numbers and things like that means. So if we go back to basics and think about the heart, so the heart needs to pump at a certain rate, certain depth and a certain pressure to get that blood flowing around the body to make sure that there's enough oxygen and nutrients getting to your organs and tissues and things like that to keep you alive basically. So blood pressure is literally the force that your heart is pumping that blood around to make sure it's reaching those organs. And when you measure blood pressure, blood pressure ranges, it'll go up and down all the time depending on what you're doing, if you're stressed, if you're walking about, if you're running, your blood pressure is going to change according to what you're doing. Um, so don't worry if you're checking your blood pressure and you're getting these varied results, don't worry as long as it's not running high all the time, especially when you're resting. If that's happening, then that's when you need to see a nurse or a doctor. So how is blood pressure measured? For those of you that have had your blood pressure done, for those of you that are doing blood pressure, like nurses, students, things like that, um, this is mainly aimed at student nurses to do a little bit of education uh, but you'll always have two numbers so the top number that you have is the systolic systolic number or systolic pressure and then the lower number is the diastolic pressure or the diastolic number so there'll be two numbers the systolic number is the top number so if you think that has been the highest level of pressure coming out of your body coming out of your heart even and then the diastolic is the lowest number uh, so the lowest level of pressure coming through the arteries if that makes sense and what this is doing, if you think about your arteries, you've got your arteries like this and you've constantly got this flow of blood going every single second, minute, whatever, um, going through the arteries. So that top number, the systolic number that we're measuring on the blood pressure machine um, is the stretch of the artery. So you've got that first burst of blood going through the artery and it's that stretch. So how much pressure is that stretching the artery? And then the diastolic number is the recoil of the artery. So how much pressure is left behind? Behind. So once that blood's gone through like this, you're measuring first the stretch and then how much pressure is left behind once it's gone through the artery, if that makes sense. So then if the top number is really high, if you think about it, your arteries stretching really far, it could put you at risk of, um, you know, burst in the artery, risk in heart attacks, strokes, things like that. So it's not good to have that high pressure constantly. And the same as if there's a lot of blood left, if that number's high, you've got a lot of stagnant blood, which means you're going to be more at risk of blood clots and things like that and build up in the arteries, more risk of um, heart attacks and strokes again. So it's really important we get that pressure as normal as possible. So I hope that's helped you understand blood pressure and why it's so important. If there's any questions, put a comment in, in the box below and I'll get back to you.